Now let's take a look at what you got in your keyboard. There's really nothing special about it except for one thing, and that's up here. So see this? That's your Touch ID. But besides being your Touch ID, that's also a power button. So if you ever need to force shut down your Mac, you're going to hold on to that button until it turns off. Or if your Mac doesn't turn on, you would press that button to turn it on. Now something else that's pretty hard to get in camera is this right here. The hinges, but they look pretty sleek. And like I mentioned before, the trackpad's actually extra large. So as mentioned before, to force shut down your Mac, you would just hold on to this key right here, which is your Touch ID, but it's also a button. So you just hold it down until it turns off. There we go. So once it turns off, you can just close the lid. And I want to show you one more thing, and that's the ventilation from your MacBook. So see this right here? You're going to have the exact same thing on the other side of your MacBook, and that's where it breathes. So let me show you the other side, right there. So if you're getting a case for this, you have to get a case that has this cut up here, or else it's not going to ventilate as it should. But at this point, there's really nothing else I can show you about this MacBook Pro. It looks awesome. I'm going to be doing a setup video, a manual, and a review later on. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.